Hello everyone, you're welcome to Jam Vibes. Jacob Zuma undergoes serious threats on his life already and this actually comes in with a very bitter message. It is very unfortunate that this kind of a thing had to happen the way it did but I'm here to share with you the entire story about what is ongoing, what happened because at some point the woman in question revealed that her account was definitely hacked. Guys, before I give you all the entire details, kindly do well to follow Jam Vibes please, like this video, drop a comment and above all, share this video with all of your friends and loved ones. Point to be noted is the fact that every information in today's video was gotten with respect to what was shared on IOL. So after watching this video, in case you want any further details, you can rush to the official site and of course, you will see the entire story there. Dlakavu's tweet, which quickly went viral, garnered over 900 comments and 395,000 views. One of her tweets stated, and I quote, the best thing you can do for me as a country is kill Jacob Zuma. He must die. Take him out, now. Another tweet followed. Imagine I wrote a whole PhD about how I wanted Jacob Zuma to die. Now, it's just time to make it a reality. I have already manifested his death, she declared. However, Dlakavu later issued a statement asserting that her account had been hacked and requested privacy from the social media community. In her words, my social media accounts were compromised and harmful statements against President Zuma were posted. We have now regained control of the account, secured them and deleted the tweet. This incident has profoundly affected me and I request privacy during this difficult time, Lakavu said. Commenting to the star, political analyst and journalism lecturer at IIE Rosebank College, Sandi Legumede, dismissed Lakavu's post as attention-seeking and baseless. He noted that Zuma, as a former president, enjoys significant protection. Gumede, in his exact words, had this to reveal. Zuma is one of the most well-guarded individuals as a former head of state. Why would anyone in their right mind make such threats on social media, especially against someone like Zuma? The doctor is merely seeking attention. Serious threats will be executed in secrecy, not broadcast on social media, Gumede remarked. The MK party's recent electoral success in KwaZulu-Natal, where they secured several seats in the provincial legislature, reflects a shift in political landscape on seats in the ANC and heralding a new political era. Gumede opined that these threats will not lead to political instability, particularly in the wake of the 2021 July unrest, which was allegedly sparked by Zuma's imprisonment for contempt of court. Such posts will not harm Zuma or cause political instability unless something genuinely harmful happens to him. Zuma remains one of the most beloved leaders in KwaZulu-Natal, despite his controversies and the negative portrayal by various media outlets in South Africa, Gumede explained. To many, Zuma is a charismatic figure who resonates deeply with a significant portion of the South African populace. This doesn't excuse his questionable leadership, often marred by scandals. Political commentators Ngama Mtimka, sorry, and Gumede characterized Lamuka's tweet as a misuse of free speech bordering on hate speech and violating Zuma's constitutional right to life. This is extremely inappropriate. Normally, such threats come from individuals hiding behind anonymous accounts. If this is truly her account, it is a professional catastrophe for the doctor. It is a flagrant misuse of free speech. No one has a right to make such statements and claim free speech as a shield, Gumede asserted. Ntimka added, the comment verges on hate speech and incitements to violence. While it's outrageous and ill-considered, it doesn't pose a credible threat given her relatively small following. I hope for her sake that her account was indeed hacked. Attempts to reach the National Police Spokesperson at Lenda Mate for a legal perspective were very much unsuccessful despite sending a list of questions revealed IOL. Similarly, 
Efforts to obtain a comment from MK Party spokesperson Klamulo Dredla were all met with no response. Right now, when you want to give me your honest opinions in the comment section, I love you all so dearly.